After a few snow showers passed through the area not too long ago, cool temperatures will continue to take over for our Wednesday before we quickly climb back into those spring-like conditions with a chance for stronger storms by your Friday. As of right now, the snow is starting to clear out. You'll notice just the remnants of that a little bit further south of I-88. The rest of us have slowly started to dry off and we'll even notice that cloud cover slowly moving out. One thing you will continue to notice through the rest of your day are some cooler temperatures. Right now, most of us sitting within the 30s, 33 degrees in Freeport, 34 in Rochelle, 31 in Poplar Grove. We may end up still climbing into those upper 30s as we'll end up just within the 30s for our afternoon, but at least we have some sunshine to look forward to. Cloud cover will slowly start to exit, allowing plenty of sun to take over, hopefully going to make these cooler temperatures just a little bit more bearable. Definitely going to feel a little bit like winter for today. We hit 38 degrees at 4 p.m. and then we start to drop on off once again a little bit cooler overnight although we continue to stay clear and dry into tonight and even most of your Thursday. As far as the conditions go, we'll turn sunny. The sun will definitely dominate, but your temperatures will stay cooler overall. Another thing you might even notice as well is a little bit of that breeze kicking in. Winds will gust near 25 miles an hour, slowly starting to settle into tonight as your temperatures take a fall. We drop into the low 20s. Some may even drop into the upper teens. Definitely going to be a little cooler tonight and to start off your Thursday, However, good news is a warm front moves through the area, bringing us not only some cloud cover, so you'll catch some sunshine early tomorrow, but the 50s also quickly return. So we definitely recover into the day tomorrow and then into the overnight hours. We'll see some showers moving in, spilling over early Friday morning. Now, speaking of Friday, we do have a potential to see some stronger storms throughout our entire area. All of us are under some kind of potential for those strong storms. That two out of five in the yellow shading is for most of our area into the northeast, a little bit further to the southwest. The orange shading you're seeing is a three out of five, a little greater potential. All threats lay on the table as well, including damaging winds, hail, tornadoes, and we may even see some heavy rain with the showers continuing even overnight Friday early into Saturday. Lots to pay attention to, but at least for the rest of your Wednesday, we'll stay dry. Cooler, sure, but we'll see plenty of sunshine. Cloud cover is back tomorrow, and so are those 50s. Take a look at Friday, 66 degrees, but of course in spring, there's always some kind of catch. We do have a chance for those stronger storms, so make sure you're staying tuned to the forecast, as of course we'll bring you the latest. And in your most accurate 10-day forecast, we do have a chance for some brief snow Saturday morning. We're back with sunshine and the 60s come Sunday, Manny.